think there's the, the final, like a Dachi's one. There, there's that one puzzle. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's that one puzzle where I don't even think you can call it a puzzle, but it's like, oh, don't let anyone like touch you. And I thought he was joking, so like I started fighting some guys, and it's like, no, you're actually not supposed to do that. That game is really tedious. Um, like, all I think, it is is just waiting for the next cutscene or like the next dialogue segment. But you still feel like you're doing things. Like I actually really like those parts because I'm like, ooh, more time I get to spend with Yukiko. But you're not. It's just like every, you all the enemies. Like spending time with Chie? But you're not. You're just running through Ew. a hallway with like people following you. No, I'm talking about like the times where you didn't go in dungeon crawl. Oh. What do you mean? The whole game is dungeon crawling. No, I mean like the the social link parts. That's just that's a virtual novel. If the whole game was a virtual novel, it'd probably be yeah. a lot the better. The whole game written. is literally a virtual novel with an RPG behind it. Well, it didn't need it. It could have been a better RPG, or they could have got rid of it completely. Well, Persona Five is supposed to be like an actual game with like a really really good story. I don't know if you saw the new trailer. Yeah, I saw that. Um, where it has like platforming elements like of it, over, like, and, like stealth stuff. Yeah, you can actually. Like you're not, like the game is the same. It doesn't like go to a cutscene and then you start a battle. Um, yeah. And then I'm trying to play Persona Three, but that's, that's Persona the Three. Thing. The game, like the if you think the RPG and the dungeon crawling is bad in Persona Four, then you're gonna hate Persona Three. It's just, it's, it's just yeah. That that is that's like the definition of tedious. Yeah, Persona 3 was a little bit of a pain to get through, I'll admit. Although, I think the overall story was a little bit better. But I like the characters more in Persona 4. That's If that makes any appeal. sense. That is the appeal of Persona 4. The characters? So yeah. That's why there's a fighting game. That's why there's a dancing game. That's why there's Yukiko. I'm sure, that's why there's Yukiko. Where the fuck are you? Why did it start start in like, the worst possible place? No, no, this is a really bad round. Holy shit, why are there cops shooting at me? I'm in a tank. Do yeah, because you're in a people? tank. You're not supposed to be in a tank. What do you mean you're not supposed to be in a tank? In normal society, a man in a tank... Normal society. ...in the street. This is my last round, by the way, then I gotta go. Because I have class. Because down in Glassboro, I guess it doesn't snow. Well, even if it did snow, you'd still go to class, wouldn't you? Like You'd be surprised. Campus. Well, no, because like, we still have commuters. And, like, the professors can meet here. The, the professors don't live on campus. They don't even live, like... I guess that makes sense. I, I'm my history professor. Uh, he's, like, the only class I have tomorrow because the rest canceled. He lives, like, in Philadelphia. Which, you know, still isn't super far away. It's, like, 30, 40 minutes, depending on where you live in Philly. But, like, you know, it's still far away. That's it's still that dry. far away. Yeah, well, if you're you know, from New Jersey, that's far away. <laughs> you remember? Um, I couldn't imagine driving 50 minutes like work every day. Do you remember? Um, I was born in '80 and choose, so I guess you get up at like five to like leave at, like around six. That's you so remember weird. Mr. Bajer from like middle school, or the, the science yeah. teacher? He um he lived in Philadelphia. Really? Yeah, he still lives in Philadelphia. What the hell then? He lives like super far away and just like comes into work. He has like a lot of awards too. He's like not the head of the science department either. He's just like some. I mean, I just say some science teacher. He's awesome, but like, he doesn't do anything just besides being like a science teacher, and like some clubs. I I guess. But why would you why would you not work in a school locally? I mean, I don't know his whole backstory. He's been with the school for a very very long time now. I think like over like 20 something years so maybe like he originally like lived near here and just like didn't want to move wow That's you're about weird. to get literally the full time on this <laughs> did you just see that one wow i just dodged that tank shot it's like my one wow well if you don't win this one i'll be very upset with you oh i just blew up yeah, well, because the time ran out. <laughs> Did I win? Well, no, I still have to go. Well, how... 
I guess if you get more checkpoints than me, then you're gonna win. Oh, did you ever, um, oh, and if you can kill me before. Did you ever, um, figure out, like, what you, like, even want to do? Are you gonna be, like, a computer science Still major or something? Go. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. I think I won. You should be a computer science major, Mike. And make good games for once. Because there's been a lot of really shitty games coming out. Even though I hear Evolve's actually really good. I don't, Evolve didn't look that interesting. I'm not buying Evolve. Apparently everyone likes it because it's getting really good reviews. But like, for me, $60 on a multiplayer only out. game. Yeah. Did it just come out? Well, it's, it's either I thought it comes new, out Tuesday. It's either... If then, if it's coming out Tuesday and it's getting good reviews, then there's no reason to trust any of the reviews. Like that. I don't think they just sent out review copies like yesterday, though. I know it doesn't matter if they sent out review copies or not; they're still gonna get good reviews. That one game, Dying Light, didn't like didn't send out review copies at all. Well, they did, just like they didn't send out review copies till the game came out. Which I don't understand why they well, did that, because the game already, wasn't broken at all. Yeah, they did. I they heard it was like just a, like that, but... They had a beta. Or they had something. They had YouTubers playing it before they, it you, came out. So but, I, like, they didn't... It was like... A, it was like a beta, though. Like, it wasn't finished. They didn't have, like, actual review copies. But still, the game... Like, you could actually see people playing the game before it came out. Pretty much a full game. Just not all the areas. And then Evolve also did the same thing. There's a beta. And there was a beta. Um, just evolved like... just, the whole DLC thing is like that's like on top of all the multiplayer games I'm playing already. It doesn't matter. I play so much. I don't even care. It just looks boring. Evolve. Looks I like... feel like the it's it's you're playing it for the jump scares of like oh my god there's a monster we gotta get him but that's then not like... even have you seen like an actual match of it? No. Well. That's not true. I've seen some people play like parts of it at PAX, but I haven't seen like a full full match. I've seen like highlights. It's just like it. It looks like an it, like more. They tried it so hard to get an esports like shoehorned in that it's just like it doesn't feel like you're an actual person getting hunted by a monster. It just feels like you're just it just playing is like a game a, chess. Like a, game yeah it feels like a like i don't know there's nothing wrong with it. that i guess but like i feel like if esports is going to be successful there can only be so many games to play esports at i know then if you're going to make an esports game why would you make it like uh non symmetrical like it's, it's also very true how would you also make it a 5v1 it's like so hard to balance one? that it's a 4v1. How would you make that into a sports uh, game? I, I don't know. But that's what they were trying to do. That's why the game has like health bars over everybody's head. That's why the game has like a... Like, you know, CSGO has like a spectator mode for like people... Like just for broadcasting. Like that's the angle they try to do. I, I don't even understand what they were thinking if you can do... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. It was blowing smoke on my ass, but if you have a, how can you have an esports stage where five people get up and four go to one booth and then one goes in the other? I mean, how how could you just like any other stage? So you're telling me that an esports team? Oh, I guess you know what? I guess if they wanted to do something like that, the whole team would be five men, and then like. For, like, they'd be one designated guy who just plays the monster. You know? I guess. But then... Well, then how do you no. do esports with DLC, then? That's so dumb. If you're doing esports with DLC, you gotta make sure everyone's on, like, an even playing field. That's why League has, like, free champions. Well, like, every week. I don't know That's anything. why CSGO... I really don't know anything about the on. DLC. I just know that the game feels like an esport. It feels like... Like, League of Legends E. Gotcha. Well, anyway, I really gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. bye. Goodbye forever. Yeah, sure.